What's this called? Katana Go. Katana Go. Right. Pokemon Go. Hanzo. That. Katana. Go. Welcome to this week's episode of Working Class Music, where we're diving into the all new Boss Katana Go. I'm one of your hosts, Jason, where I am 45 hours into Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and I am still like halfway into that game. Maze? I'm, I'm here, and I should start Doom 2, because I beat Doom. <laughs> I, I don't know, I bought the bundle, I bought all of them. Uh, but before we begin, we want to be transparent. Boss provided us with these Katana Go units and is compensating us for this video. However, all thoughts, opinions, and reactions are completely our own. Yep. So, since we got that bit of housekeeping out of the way, let's dive right into the Katana Go. The Katana Go joins the Katana lineup as a pocket-sized headphone amp that plugs directly into your guitar or bass. Let's explore its features. Offering premium guitar and bass tones from stage class Katana amplifiers, guitar mode featuring 10 amp types with over 60 effects, bass mode, <laughs> bass mode with three amp types and over 60 effects, stage feel function for an immersive headphone experience using advanced boss spatial technology 30 user memories in each mode preloaded with ready to play sounds oled display for viewing memory names and onboard tuner bluetooth connectivity for wireless sound editing and music playback from your mobile device so you also get the Boss Katana Go app which you can use for comprehensive sound editing memory organization and YouTube practicing. Access to live sets at Boss Tone Exchange for downloading and sharing. Compatibility with tone setting data from Katana guitar and bass amplifiers. Rechargeable battery offering up to five hours of continuous runtime. USB-C connectivity for recording slash playback in music production software on computers or mobile devices. Optional wireless external foot control using EV1WL wireless MIDI expression pedal and FS1WL wireless foot switch. And you get an optional carrying pouch to carry all your cables, charging accessories, and obviously the Katana Go. Yeah. Nice little uh, pouch for all your uh, knickknacks yeah. and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Guitar now, picks. On to the sounds. The sounds. So I'm on the 2C Fat Clean channel.
the setting is to a modern brown. I like this guitar. Yeah, dude. I'm glad I came around. Nice. Harley, what should I eat? Should I have pancakes? Should I have pancakes? Do you want a pancake? All right, well, that's enough of that. So we're going to start off with uh, the preset 1B, which is T Wa.
this setting we're doing 1A Modern Basic. do one more as soon as I find something. So we're gonna do 10C, which is slow signal. All right, I think that's it. Hopefully there's some good stuff in there that you can use. We got something. All right, so we are back and we've got some thoughts. We've got some opinions and they're all ours. So you want to start or shall I? Yeah, you go first. Right. So for this one, uh, we kind of played it how you would play it, you know, with headphones. So it was a little bit weird for us. Myself, I, I adjusted to it really quickly. I didn't go into this thinking that I was the intended audience because these things to me are just like, okay, they're cool, but for me with a huge pedal board and everything else, like I like a specific sound and I'm very much like the uh, boomer meme of like tube amp and guitar. So for me, that is a practice rig, but I was pleasantly surprised, especially using this on bass, uh, because playing it on bass for me, I was just like, oh, shit. like this sounds really cool. The bass sounds are very convincing and very deep. And I like that. I don't get to play bass a lot. And as you see in the video, you'll see why, because I don't sound that good. I feel like it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy though. Like yeah, if you yeah. don't practice, you don't sound good. Yeah. And that's where this comes good. in. You that's where practice. this comes. Maybe mm -hmm. this will get you to practice bass. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. So I also like the app. I didn't play around with the app as much, but I think, you know, all the sounds on there sound very convincing. My favorite was the wah. 
I like that because uh, I was just like, oh yeah, it, it sounds funky like with a bass. It didn't sound, for lack of a better term, too digital. And the clean bass, I wish I would have had my bassist use that the other day when we were tracking because uh, that is one of the cleanest bass tones that I've heard. And with the Rascal bass, it just sounds nice. I did play around with a little bit on the guitar settings. I think the guitar sounds are very usable and I think the app implementation is what carries it beyond the competition. The fact that you can adjust anything right then and there mm -hmm. and create so many presets. And not only that, I figured that like the delay and time-based effects would be very simple, but they're not. And it's very, very intuitive. So, you know, I look to the future of what this can be for 120 bucks. This is probably the easiest recommendation I can make, especially if you're looking for a practice amp and you can't play very loudly. Or if you don't have a lot of space, honestly, like let's be honest, people are having more roommates, you know, people are kind of living with more people than before. Space may be of an issue. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have like the space for even like an eight or 10 inch, you know, combo amp, that sounds tiny, but that does take up a good amount of space when you're not working with a lot. So this literally pops on into your instrument, that's it. Yeah, I think for the price point overall, definitely beats the competition. Although I would be interested in doing a shootout, I would also be interested in doing a shootout between the Mustang Micro and the Katana Go. Yeah. Because head to head, I want to see how close in sound we can get them and like where they're distinctly different. Yeah. And I, sound wise. At least. Yeah. The app implementation sets it apart. I haven't tried the new X, if that's how you pronounce that brand, whatever. It used to be Twitter. N Nux. New X. New X kind of sounds like a like a new metal band. Like, yeah. Like a new like a like a static X kind of. I'm like. fairly certain that's the correct pronunciation. Of Nux. New yeah. X. Huh. I I I don't know. You guys let me know phonetically what it sounds like in the comments. Yeah. It's worth the money. App implementation sets it apart, mm -hmm. and I think it is very user friendly out of the box. Yeah. Uh, for the price point, I think it's probably one of the best options you can get. That's my opinion. Okay. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, in short, Jason hit on all the big points that I also wanted to touch on. When I first saw the Katana Go, it obviously looks a lot like... Actually, I gotta make one more point. Can, can I see yours? Can I see yours? You probably can't see it right here, but it looks like a little tank. And oh that's cool God. to me. Oh, no. Like, it looks just like a little tank. Can that take on my Enterprise D? What do you mean by that? Uh, can that take on the Constitution class enterprise, okay? <laughs> that is what I was I know, say. I said it and then I thought about it. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> when I first unboxed it, I was very grateful to see a screen. As someone who had a katana, the biggest reason why I got rid of that amp is because it did not have a built-in screen. Like if it had had a built-in tuner, I would still have a Boss Katana amplifier. That goes with the Boss Katana 2. I thought that that was gonna be the big update, was hoping for a screen. I am happy that the Katana Go finally has a screen. I hope that going forward, other Boss Katana products have screens. I feel like onboard tuners, it has to be a pain in the ass production-wise. Mm. I don't know. I'm speaking from ignorance here. I don't want to make an assumption, but I feel like it can't be impossible to implement into future products. Onboard tuner, pretty please. Please make it a thing for future products. Amp makers, please. If it's a digital anything, please. With that being said, the app made everything super easy to just pull up. Like I was up until like three, four in the morning, literally just making presets and just going between them and just putting it between guitars. And it sounded really, really good between them. I am a vampire. I am up at nocturnal hours. I don't want to disrupt any of these people. Headphones are a must. If you have roommates, this thing is great. If you live with family, this thing is great because it sounds great, only you can hear it. If you want to record out, you can. I've not got a chance to record with it, so I can't give that opinion just yet, but as a practice unit, it's easy to use, and the, oh my God, the built-in screen. Did I mention the built-in screen? But yeah, in short, I think it's good. I'm excited for what they can improve upon in the future, but this is a really, really good first model. Yeah. With that said, it's closing time, so let us know down in the comments if you would like to see that shootout. I mean, we're going to do it either way, but we'd like to hear it. Like, subscribe, comment. 
do all the things, you know what All the do. things, Patreon. I'm super tired, but I'm glad you guys stuck around, so. If you made it this far, down in the comments below, I want you to put an emoji of the last thing you would want to see in the water if you were to go to the beach. Oh God, <laughs> I know what that's gonna be. Have fun, adios. Later. Like a samurai shampoo thing. Yeah, samurai shampoo. Oh man, I do have that on Blu-ray. You know, it's on DVD upstairs. I've never watched it, but like <gasps> after this, I. I'm you sorry. need to like. I'm sorry. Never played Final Fantasy. Fancy. Never played. <laughs> never, never, never played Mario Kart. I feel, and this is how. <laughs> I feel a lot of judgment. Look, there's there's the DVD or the entire series upstairs. Oh, Lord. Just take that and do your homework. It's one of the best.